Hi, today I would like to talk to about doing C, C++ uh, Linux development using Visual Studio. So let's get started. Uh, basically, uh, what you should uh, do is, if you haven't done it already, is uh, have some kind of a Linux machine running. So I have a Linux VM running, Debian 3. And I will tell you the steps that I have already done on my Linux VM is uh, what you want to do is go to the visual c++ team blog and follow the instructions the first thing i've done is install these packages apt get install open ssh server g++ gdp and gdp server uh, because uh, it needs to connect uh, remotely and uh, what you can also uh, look when you create a project uh, for the first time uh, let's say just we can uh, try to create a new project here just to give you an example of an idea you want to go into visual c++ cross-platform linux and to be able to just see that you need to have the uh, linux extension already installed and uh, that's how you can create a linux uh, vanilla project uh, once you have a connection and you try to do a build it will prompt you for the information about the uh, remote machine and uh, you can also see the remote machine information later on if you need to uh, go into uh, tools options cross platform and you can see here it is the host name the port and the yogi username so it is kind of nice uh, if i just try to run this for example for you and uh, you can see what it does is just give it a second sometimes it takes a while to connect to okay it is connected remotely to my vm and you can see that it uh, i have just a standard variable it's sent it to gaur and str1 string is gore and i'm just saying hello printf and uh, typically when i run this uh, it runs through and i can look at my variables but the printf uh, data is not actually shown in the output here but i mean it's not a big deal at least you can debug your program uh, remotely uh, through this if you go to the VM, uh, I can uh, show you where it is uh, putting the project. It's putting the project under a home directory under projects, Linux test, bin, export, debug. And that's pretty much actually how the standard uh, Visual Studio uh, setup is when it creates a file. And you can see it's created the Linux test dot out and I can just print it. So it's actually, I found it to be a fairly straightforward experience compared to using say Eclipse for remote debugging. So you want to uh, perhaps give it a try for uh, Linux C, C++ debugging. Thank you for watching this short screencast. Again, uh, go to the Visual C++ team blogs to get some of these instructions. And you can also go to my website and uh, search for other resources or other programming videos and other fun things to do. Thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.